Okay, today we're going to take a look at uh, Kevy's grid tie inverter. Yep, these are the crappy power jack. This one's actually U power, but it's the same same board, same company, right? This is the 600 watt grid tie inverter. There's not much to it. What's wrong with this one is there's two of the power MOSFETs are blown, and that happened because Kevin overpowered it. He hooked up four 12 volt solar panels in series. He just figured, well, I I got uh, 400 watts and it's 600 watts, and uh, the sun come out real bright one day, and she smoked up. <laughs> so, anyways, I I had a hard time finding these. I couldn't find a cross reference to the number on those power MOSFETs. So. I ordered some from China. They were expensive. I haven't got them yet, but he contacted the company that sold it to him, the, the guy on eBay, and they sold him a kit. So I don't know if these are the same number or not, but because uh, in the book they give you a different number than what was there. So at least there's four of them. If they're a different number, I'll have to change all four so they're matched because the value might be slightly different, but. Uh, We'll put those in, and then on a sunny day, we'll see if she works. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. As you can see, they're relatively straightforward. There's nothing elaborate there. On the back side is where they get fancy, and they put their, their uh, surface mount stuff. So you can see on the back, they got their, their fancy chips and all their surface mount stuff. I, I've gone through the tests, I checked the resistors, soldered a few of the bad solder points. There's a lot of them here. Here we are, the completed repair. She's all back together. Down in there, two of those MOSFETs, that one and that one, were blown. Now, luckily, they sent the exact same chip number. So, Kevy scored large on that, I think. He got uh, four MOSFETs for free. Now, these here are crappy grid tie inverters. They go under the name of Power Jack, U Power, and probably six or seven other different ones. And you can always tell because they got these here nips advertising them on the website you know these ugly nips so you can always tell these crappy ones you see you turn to the back there and uh, there's that uh, transistor number there but as you can see they got these ugly nips posing with these. You can see them on the website, so stay away from these things. Okay, here we are again at the workbench, and we got Kevy's grid tie inverter back on the table here. And what we're going to do is take another look at it because what happened is I followed their instructions, I tested all the components they said to test, I found one bad MOSFET, I replaced it, everything tested good, and when I powered it up, the uh, red light down there came on for three seconds and then I heard snap and then that was it the fuse was blown down in here they had a 30 amp fuse in there it was blown and the Q1 MOSFET was blown again so what I've done is I've checked it with a meter there's no short when it's not under load on the DC side and when it is under load, there's obviously a short. So what I've done here is I'm powering from 12 volts only for now. This will give me 24 volts if I need it, but right now I'm just powering 12 volts. And I'm going in series with this light bulb. That way if there's a short, it's not going to blow the inverter or blow any more MOSFETs. So I know the short exists because it's there when I turn on the circuit breaker. There we go. We shouldn't be getting that kind of glowing. 
Oh, but it says you're supposed to plug this in first. Oh, that's why. Okay, now we got that in and we got that powered off. Oh, we're still getting a glow. Ah, now this is a 12 volt light bulb, by the way, so don't expect this to happen with a regular light bulb. What I found here is under further examination, this here transformer has got smoke at the bottom of it. Now this here number six MOSFET was not blown, but that works in conjunction with the number one MOSFET. So my guess is either the transformer or one of the windings is blown underneath, or there could be a varistor or something under there that's blown because there seems to be several components that's underneath there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that transformer and take a look and see what's up because that's definitely smoke coming f that's on that and no other components were smoked up in this area at all. So I can power down uh, my light bulb. Upon further examination of the transformers and testing with an additional multimeter and reconfirming, I do believe that both of these transformers are blown. You can see the smoke indication there. Now, out of the slot, I hate this thing because it's just, it's, <laughs> I'm just laughing here because this stupid camcorder. I'm always wanting to look <laughs> where the viewfinder is or the LCD instead of looking further over. So I always got to look. Okay, so as we can see, there's smoke there. And that smoke actually is down in the, that one side of the hole, of those two holes. Now what I did is I compared one to another, one pin to another all the way along and each one is zero so it's a short each one goes to zero on resistance so either the the resistance on those coils is a dead short to start with or they're shorted and both of them measure the same so it is my belief now that these transformers are shot which <laughs> to me that's ridiculous to have a fuse in there that's supposed to save your circuit and the fuse is pegged higher than what will save the circuit. In the manual it says a 20 amp fuse and then they've modified the circuit and put larger MOSFETs in there I guess and gone to a 30 amp fuse. Now, the rest of the circuit probably can't handle that load, so when you have overpower situation, it's going to blow. And by the looks of it, it shorted the windings in the transformer as well. So, either this one's toast, unless I can get uh, a pair of transformers from somewhere, and trying to find transformers for these things. I'll see. I'll see if I can contact the manufacturer, but trying to talk to those nips, you know, is crazy, yeah. Here we are again. We're checking this thing out, and as you can see, that light bulb isn't lit one bit. Okay, we're plugged in. We're powered up. You can see the red light on there. That's because there's no AC, because there's no transformers and there's no short so here we are we're powered up with 12 volts and it's not blowing any fuses it's not shorted I guarantee if I was to put those transformers back in that lights gonna come on because there will be a short so it is those two transformers that are blown the FETs that are in there now are okay I need two transformers now to see if we can get some free transformers out of the nips.